Hello stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabook.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Today I have a blog hop for you. We are going to be hopping with the One Stamp at a Time design team. And our theme today is cards you would send to your BFF. So that kind of opens the door wide, right? I'm going to be using the Cottage Rose and the Abigail Rose designer series paper. This is a beautiful suite in the new annual catalog. I'm going to be featuring a fun technique on ribbon. So that's kind of cool. We're gonna flip this camera around and we're gonna get started. When we get to the end of the video, there's going to be a link in the top right corner. And that's going to take you right to my blog where you can see what other Stampin' Up! demonstrators all over the world made using the theme BFF. Let's get started. Okay, so I wanted to give you just a quick little reminder that we are in the second celebration promotion of the year with Stampin' Up! We have this brochure that has all kinds of free items. When you place a $50 order, there are level one items in here you can get for free. When you place a $100 order, we have level two items you can get for free. And on August 2nd, Stampin' Up! released this More to Celebrate brochure. So we've got some other items that have been added to the celebration promotion based on $50 and $100 orders. You can get these items for free too. You will find all of the information um, and links to these flyers on my blog. My blog is right here, www.estampabove.com. This is my current host code. So I always appreciate your orders when you place an order and it's under $150. Please use this host code in the host code area. That's also shown where to put that in on my blog. But if your order's over $150, don't use that code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up! And I definitely want you to have those. Okay, so along with the Cottage Rose Bundle, we have the gorgeous stamp set. There are 10 different images in here. And then we have the cottage flower dies. And in this pack of dies, you get eight different dies that coordinate with the images in here. And then there are also some dies that are not in here. So that gives you a really good, um, variety to make beautiful cards with this suite. We are going to be using the dies and the stamp set along with the Abigail Rose designer series paper. This is 12 by 12. You get two sheets of each and it is double sided. Also, we're gonna use the decorative circle punch on the first card that we're making. And then this gorgeous 7 8 inch natural finish ribbon. Now I have to tell you, this ribbon has been so popular that it is currently on back order. Stampin' Up! does expect this back in the warehouse on August 22nd. And that is only less than two weeks away. So just know that it will be back in stock. I'm gonna get some more light on the subject here. And we are going to pull in the Pretty Flowers Embossing Folder. We're gonna be using this on the first fun fold card that we make. And here comes all of our layers. So, we have a, oh, this is the wrong cardstock, hang on. What I found when I picked up this paper, this is our Whisper, or I'm sorry, basic white cardstock, which is fabulous for stamping on. But our thick white cardstock makes a better card base. So I've got a five and a half by eight and a half inch thick white card base. I've already scored it at four and a quarter. We are going to be scoring it one more time, and I'll show you that in a second. Then we have a piece of designer series paper. This is two and three quarters by five and a quarter, as well as another piece of the Abigail Rose designer series paper. And this is one and a quarter by five and a quarter. 
We've got a piece of early espresso. This is one by five and a quarter. And then I've got an envelope here with a two and a half by six inch piece of the designer series paper. I always like to make my envelopes match. I just think it makes such an incredible um, presentation when somebody opens their mailbox or you hand them a card and it is decorated up before they've even opened it. I just think that is the best way that we as stampers can present our cards. Find my little scissors here. So I've just placed some glue. I use the multi-purpose liquid glue. It is my favorite adhesive. I place that on the flap of the envelope. These are our basic white envelopes. You do get 40 in a pack. I think they're $7.50. Don't quote me on that price though. I will show these in my supply list so you can decide if you need to get some of our fabulous high quality envelopes. Here is our beautiful envelope. This is gonna match our gorgeous little card. And again, it just looks so nice when things match. Now we're going to take the thick basic white cardstock. We are going to score this. It's already scored at four and a quarter. And then we're also going to score it at seven and a quarter with our paper trimmer. So we've got two score lines here. And I'm going to go ahead, fold and burnish with my bone folder, maybe if I can get it out from under there, on my two score lines. Now this little piece of early espresso, we are going to emboss in the pretty flowers embossing folder. And I'm just gonna set that in there, run this through my embossing machine. And here comes that piece. This is such a small piece, but it makes such a big impact on a card. So it's definitely worth going that extra step. We can start um, stamping a little bit here. Oh, I have to tell you, before I go any further, this is a card swap that I received from my friend Ruth. As a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, we love to swap cards. Hang on, my, um, my glue lid is coming off. There we go. I don't know why it was doing that. We are going to bring in our early espresso ink pad. And I am going to stamp the best wishes stamp. And let's see. This layer is gonna go right over here. So I'm just gonna lay it down on here. We're doing a dry fit so we know where to stamp our sentiment. But I don't wanna glue anything down yet because what if I mess this up? Then I will have wasted that piece of paper. So that's just one of my little tips that I kinda of like to wait until I get everything stamped before I start gluing things together. We're gonna to take this flower and we're gonna put it right over here. And again, just a really pretty display and oops, we've got one more thing to do. You need a white scrap, and I thought I had a big one here someplace, but I don't know exactly where it went. We'll use this one. We're gonna stamp the words, you are positively the greatest. And we're gonna stamp those right in the middle of this piece. This is a pretty quick and easy card. It only uses one color of ink, so there's not a lot of fuss going on. We're gonna put that in our decorative circle punch, and then we're gonna grab a sponge dauber and add just a little bit of sponging to the outside edge. Sponging is starting to come back. We used to sponge a lot and we sponged everything, and then sponging went by the wayside, but now it's on its way back. So we've got this done, we've got this done. I'm gonna close up this ink pad for right now, and we can start putting our card together. There we go. Oh, look how pretty that paper is. I absolutely love it. Now, this other piece, this two and three quarter inch piece is going to go right on this panel. I'm gonna get a different blue bottle. I've had enough with that one. It's almost empty, it's causing me all kinds of grief usually doesn't happen. So now we're going to put this one right in here. Notice that I'm leaving the same margin on the top left and right side of my designer paper. That's how I'm centering this. 
Now, this little piece is gonna go right on here. Now, I loved Ruth's card so much that I used it for my Technique Club last month. And my online Technique Club gets a card and an instruction sheet each month. This was the card that I made for everybody for July. Then I'm going to take, ooh, I'm almost out of this ribbon. I'm going to take a piece of this ribbon and I need to see how long I need this to be. And I'm just gonna kind of, again, do a little dry fit here and it needs to be about this long. Now this is the technique that we used. I took this leaf image with my early espresso ink and the fact that this is a like a linen ribbon it's very flat and we are going to stamp right on our ribbon and I just thought this was so pretty I loved the way Ruth did this I believe they did it in the catalog on one of the samples and I just thought it was so cool, but look at how neat that is, that you can stamp right on that ribbon. So I'm going to stamp, whoops, I just stuck my arm in it. I'm gonna stamp a little bit on each end on the other side here, because when I tie this around my card, you might be able to see that. I also am going to bring in some of the elegant faceted gems. So we've got dimensionals. Here's our beautiful card. This layer is gonna go right up here. So I'm just gonna grab a couple dimensionals and I'm going to put them right on my card panel here, the front panel. I'm gonna set this right here. We can bring in some of our elegant faceted gems. By the way, this is a take your pick tool. It has a putty end on it. I use this for so many things, I can't even tell you guys. Like, I use it constantly. Um, this particular set of embellishments also comes with white, but I've used them all. So now I'm using the clear, and then there's a petal pink color. Okay, this should be dry. I don't want it to smudge any place. So now I'm going to take this, and I'm going to tie it around my card. The ribbon is going to be somewhat of a belly band. And it looks like I might have cut it just a little bit short. Tip for you, don't cut your ribbon too short because it makes it a little tricky to get it tied. But I am almost out of this ribbon. And like I said, it is on back order um, until August 22nd. So now since I am short here, hang on, I gotta get all these little pieces out. I'm just going to trim this off a little bit. I'm gonna leave some of my little wispy ends on here. But not too many of them. Yeah, definitely make sure your ribbon is longer. You're gonna you're gonna love life if your ribbon is longer. If not, it's a little bit hateful. Okay. But I love this ribbon. And isn't that cool that you can stamp right on it? I think that's so neat. Now, here's our beautiful card. Definitely gonna look better with a little bit longer um, tails on here. This is our envelope. And if you like, you can take your floral stamp. You can stamp on your envelope front. You've got the designer paper on the back. What a great fun fold. And then I had one more card I was going to share with you. So let's get that out. This uses the same suite of products. We are going to take our crumb cake card base. This is five and a half by eight and a half. By the way, you will find free downloadable project sheets for the cards that I'm making for you today on my blog right here. And again, at the end of the video, we will have um, a link that's gonna take you right to the blog post where you can download the project sheets and keep them in your library of stamping ideas. It's just a courtesy that I like to give to my customers. You will find a whole bunch of free downloads on my blog 
with all of my cards and probably for the last several months I started doing that so I just think everybody has given me such good comments about it that I will continue to do that okay here is our beautiful envelope using again the Abigail Rose designer series paper now we're going to bring in a scrap and I am going to stamp, ooh, I didn't get that large one out yet. We're going to stamp this large flower. Get a big block here. We're gonna stamp this large flower and again, I'm just going to stamp it in the early espresso ink. We're also going to take our ribbon and uh, uh, we I think we're gonna stamp feel better real soon I really like the font on this and it's a good sentiment so I'm gonna put that mm, right about here this is the only piece of ribbon that I have left now so let's keep our fingers crossed that I don't mess that up I'm going to grab the dies this is a fabulous set of dies with this bundle we're going to die cut this. I will get that done. I'll be right back. This is a quick and easy card, so it'll only take a couple more minutes. Okay, here comes that really pretty flower. Now, I'm going to give that just a touch of so saffron and a touch of petal pink. And I'm taking the petal pink from the paper and bringing that into my flower. So, we're gonna just add a little bit of yellow the center of our beautiful little flower. It's, it's very muted, you don't see it, real heavy. And then we're gonna come in with the petal pink on these tiny little flowers. And that's just gonna kinda pull what we're gonna do to the rest of the card out with that color. Now, for people who don't like to color, this is a great way to use line art images and not have a lot of fuss. Okay, we have a piece of this designer series paper is three by five and a half. And then I have a three quarter inch strip here. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a little bit of glue to the back of this layer on both sides, on both edges and I'm going to bring this in, and I just want a tiny little peak of that sticking out. Okay, and then we're gonna cut that. Oh, I wanna make sure that it's straight. There we go. Okay, <laughs> make sure you get it on there straight, otherwise it's gonna not look so great. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. And this is a great way to use your little pieces of designer paper just to decorate the edge of a bigger piece. I just think it's um, a neat way to use up all those little scraps. And again, I am going to bring in this flower. I'm gonna set this right down here. I'm also going to stamp it on the front of my envelope because well, why wouldn't you? We've got it. We're going to, whoops. Add this. Ooh. Before we do that, before you put glue on the back of that, we're going to take our ribbon and we are going to put it like right in the center here. Grab a little piece of tape and tape this right around the back, okay? And then this would normally fit all the way, but since it doesn't, don't panic, it's okay. I'm just going to clean up this end down here and I'm going to just put a piece of tape on it because we're gonna cover it with that flower that we die cut. So this is gonna work out. When you, We are problem solvers, aren't we, as stampers? Watch me solve this problem right now. 
So we kind of ran out of ribbon for what I wanted to do, but it's going to be perfectly okay. I'm trying to hold this up because I got that glue on the back and I shouldn't have done that. There we go. Okay, now we can add the glue back here. Sometimes making cards can be a real cluster, can it? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes it just gives you a hard time and today is one of those times it just keeps giving me a hard time. There we go. Okay, dimensionals for this. And we'll just add a few of those. Give it good support. Again, my take your pick tool is a great tool to get those backings off of the dimensionals. We're gonna put this, hmm, so pretty, right in here. And then I thought it'd be nice to add a little wink of Stella. So I'm just going to go around and add a little wink to my flower. Now you can see that my wink of Stella is pulling some of that brown color from the early espresso in. And sometimes that's a good thing and sometimes it's not what you want, but in this case, it's going to look really cool. And that just gives a little bit of color to those set of inside petals there. Where did my envelope go? Right here. Here's our fabulous envelope. Here's our second card. Wow, quick and easy, super fun cards using the Cottage Rose Bundle with the Cottage Flower Dyes and that gorgeous Abigail Rose Designer Series paper. Now this is part of a blog hub, as I said before. The One Stamp at a Time design team is going to be featuring cards that they would send to their BFFs. And I think these are beautiful cards that my BFFs will love to have. So. At the end of this video, you should be able to click right up here. That's going to take you over to my blog to the um, link where you can find all the other hopping bloggers. How's that for a big word? And again, I use those elegant faceted gems right on the ribbon here. Isn't that fun? Now, like I said, this is part of my online technique club these cards these cards were sent to my members in july i am going to be featuring another technique for my august online technique club members you get the instruction sheet with the little sample of the technique and then also a card with the technique each month all the details can be found in a link that i'm going to put on this blog post um it's probably going to be down below the supply list so just keep scrolling down until you find online technique club information but it's a fun way to gather techniques stamping techniques and to create a library of techniques don't forget it is a celebration until the end of august or while supplies last we have all of these items free with a hundred or fifty dollar order all of these items in here free with a hundred or fifty dollar order Please know that the tree lot dies are out of stock as well as the pool party and soft sea foam cards and envelopes at this point. So thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to stamp with me. Click down here to subscribe to my blog. Click up here to go join the hop. You'll find free downloads on my blog. This is my current host code. I always appreciate your orders. And if you need the new catalogs, let me know. Pop me an email at kelly at stampabove.com. I would be happy to mail them to you. Have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye.